on from the reading it had in the 27th, which was the Lord, uh, to Jesus. Now that's interesting. Jesus delivered the people from Israel. Well, that has got some pretty important theological ramifications to it. There's no question about that. You mentioned that the um, that uh, there are certain texts in the in the New Testament which are inserted later. You mentioned John eight, the woman caught in the act of adultery, is also First John five seven, and the ending of Mark in uh, Mark sixteen and so on. But uh, we're honest about this. In fact, if you read any um, modern Bible translation, you'll see a footnote at the end of the at the, in the margin saying that this is not found in the earliest manuscripts. In fact. Uh, so uh, th this is simply not something which is problematic for Christians. In fact, no item of doctrine hangs on John 8 or on the ending of Mark 16 or One on minute. 1 John 5, 7 or any other text which is in question or any other text which is in question. Now, some of those uh, changes are very, very interesting. Uh, one is in Jude 5. Uh, let me show you what uh, this looks like in my accordance setup where I have a tremendous number of uh, textual resources available. But since that's not really readable here, let me move that over to just two. That is the Greek text and then the specific uh, textual information provided by the Nestle Allen text itself. This is the uh, 27th edition, not the uh, 28th edition. I did look at the 28th edition online, uh, that at least is available right now. And I did find it interesting, if you're looking at the variant here, you will see that the 27th edition lists about seven different readings, possible readings here in Jude 5. Now, uh, before anybody freaks out about that, uh, the major differences between saying knowing that the Lord having once for all over against uh, knowing once for all that Jesus. And so the question is whether it's knowing once for all or whether the Lord or Jesus once for all delivered the people. Uh, so that's, that's where the textual variant uh, impacts both translation and the meaning of the text. What is interesting is that the 28th edition uh, lists 14, not seven. Uh, again, all having some, some of the differences could not be explained outside of Greek. There are word order issues, uh, things like that. But again, uh, it does have a rather fuller listing than the current NA27 uh, apparatus. Now, it is, it is an interesting, very, it's a very difficult variant. There's no question about that. It's probably one of the most difficult variants in all of the New Testament. And it's interesting to me that the ESV um, sort of anticipated the fact that the 28th edition has gone from the reading it had in the 27th, which was the Lord, uh, to Jesus. Now that's interesting. Jesus delivered the people from Israel. Well, that has got some pretty important theological ramifications to it. There's no question about that.